Good day, friends, and welcome to episode 13. We made 13 episodes. Principal Science. So excited today. Going to demonstrate more of Newton's laws. We're going to focus on Newton's second law of motion. Also got another great story for you. Science vocabulary. Love that. And a new scientist of the day. So many great things happen today on Principal Science. Enjoy. On this day in 1970, the first nationwide Earth Day was celebrated in the United States as an environmental awareness event celebrated by millions of Americans with marches, educational programs, and rallies. Later the same year, President Nixon created the Environmental Protection Agency. On this day, the first Earth Day in 1970. Scientists say gyroscope. This is a device used to measure the orientation of something in space. For example, it can measure whether an object is pointed up or down or to one side. Usually, a gyroscope is a wheel or disc mounted on an axle. The rotation of the wheel and axle is used to figure out an object's orientation. What use is that? Well, watch a video on your smartphone. Turn the screen horizontal, and the picture expands. How does the phone know to do that? In part, because of the gyroscope inside. Our scientist of the day is Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin lived from 1706 to 1790. He was a founding father of the United States. Franklin shaped our understanding of electricity, and he coined the electrical terms positive and negative. He also invented the lightning rod and bifocal spectacles or glasses. Our scientist of the day is Benjamin Franklin. Good morning, friends. I have today the Don't Worry book. You know, there's a lot of worry right now, and so I thought this would be a great book. The Don't Worry book by Todd Parr. The Don't Worry book. Sometimes you worry. Worrying happens when you think too much about a problem or feel afraid that something bad is going to happen. You might worry when you meet someone for the first time. When someone is being mean. Or when it's dark. I used to be afraid of the dark when I was little. When you are trying to sleep, or when you go to the bathroom, sometimes flushing the toilet is really loud and it's scary. When you go somewhere new, when you're alone, or when you have too much to do, that causes you me to worry a lot when I have too much to do. You might worry when it rains. Because when it rains, I think, oh my gosh, kids can't go outside to the playground. When you get sick or have to go to the doctor, sometimes that's scary. But doctors are good people. When watching TV, sometimes you see the news and see bad things. And that makes us worry. Or from looking at screens too much. Looking at your iPad, looking at your devices. Sometimes you say, turn them off. You might worry when someone is being loud. You might worry when you go to school or when you overhear some bad news. Worrying can make you sad. When you worry, try doing something to keep yourself busy, like talking to a special friend. Take deep breaths. Visiting friends. <laughs> Wearing underwear on your head. Reading a book. Dancing. Exercising. That's what I like to do when I feel nervous or worried. Squeezing a toy. Or thinking about all the things that make you strong. And remember, everyone who loves and take care of you. Don't forget all those people. Worrying doesn't help you. If you're worried, talk to someone you love about it. It will make you feel better. The end. Hey, don't worry. Have science, a brain science today. And for the next couple days, we're going to talk about my favorite word, grit. Grit, perseverance, determination, never giving up. Grit is a great trait to have. You know, being naturally smart and talented are great, but to truly do well, you have to have that inner desire to push through the hard times. Anytime you run up against something too hard and you go, oh, can't do it, 
you're lacking grit. You have to have that grit to push through the tough times. You know, Michael Jordan was one of the most amazing basketball players ever. He was cut from his high school basketball team. He says, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. Well, he made a lot more than that. And he said, I've lost over 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the last shot in a game to win it, and I missed. I failed over and over again, and because I fail over and over again, that's why I've succeeded. So think about that. Have grit, perseverance, and determination. That's principal science, brain science. Newton's second law of motion states that when a force acts upon an object, it will cause the object to accelerate. The larger the mass of the object, the greater the force needed. So if something's heavier, it takes more effort. If something's lighter, it takes less effort. The law may be written as force equals mass times acceleration. Another way to put it is uh, heavy things are harder to move than light things. And when things roll downhill, they go a lot easier. So I have some really cool demonstrations for you. Check this out. The greater the mass of an object, the more force it takes. Moving something heavy takes a lot of effort. Moving something light, quite easy. Moving an object up the hill takes more effort. Van going down a hill. That was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed Principal Science. We will see you tomorrow. Ta-ta for now.